Get it one, BH there here. It's exciting day today because it finally arrived and that is the Dell WD19 TB dock. So we've been waiting for this to come through and it's finally arrived in the mail. So let's do an unboxing for it and I will go through it and I also will add in some clips of how this connects with the Mac as well, which we're very excited to see. And I've got my daughter's good friend here, Meow Meow. Say hello, everyone. Hello. She's going to help me do the unboxing of this. Okay, what we need first is the knife. Let's get the knife out. Okay, let's go and do this now. These always have these sort of things. And oh, we're on the wrong way around. So let's try and get this and hopefully that'll... There we go. That's going to be nice. I'll quickly pack this up. Got to be safety first anyway. So let's just drop that down there. Okay, let's have a look what's in here. I have no idea. Uh, safety, we don't need those things. So, you can see, we've got the power pack here. Now, the power pack it comes with is a uh, 180 watt power supply, which is nice. So, the 180 watt. Now, with 180 watt power supply on this, which means it will actually be able to transfer 130 watts to the computer itself. So that's pretty good, nice that this was shipped with. So I like that. Of course, we got the power for this. That's just the power cable. And then we've got the dock itself. So, all right, we've got a bit of dock here. All right, and then that's the dock itself. So what else have we got here into this? We've got some documentation, how to's. We'll read that later anyway. All right, we've got the box here. Let's move that away. Okay, let's get on to this one here. So this dock is a lot smaller than the one it replaces, which is the TB16. That was quite of a whopper. So this is close to about two thirds of the size of it. It is elongated, but I'll actually prefer this elongated rather than high itself. So this is the WD19 TB. Now the TB stands for Thunderbolt version. So it is Thunderbolt enabled this version that I've actually got here. So let's have a look at the ports here. So we've got the USB-C in the front and we've got the USB-3 in front as well. We also have the auto combo jack. So let's spin it down to the left side and pretty much just fans here. We've got the Noble Lock and Kensington Lock here. So it's nice to have the two types of locks or whatever you like to choose. Uh, I forgot to say at the top here, we do have the power button, which does mirror your notebook's power button as well. So let's spin around to the back end, which is the most important part. So we've got an audio combo jack here. We've got a display port. We've got another display port. That's two display ports. And we've got a HDMI port. We also have a USB-C, which is a display port version. And we got two USB type A's, which is our USB 3's. We have a ethernet port here, and we've got the power, of course. So I have a USB-C port as well. Now, if you connect this dock to a Thunderbolt computer, this will be a Thunderbolt port from the description. If you connect this Thunderbolt version to a non-Thunderbolt enabled notebook, then this Thunderbolt port here at the back here will then become a USB 2 speed. And if we spin it to the last side, it's pretty much just fan vents in a way. The WD19 TV in Australia retails for $497, so it's quite an expensive dock, but the specs of it and what it can promise can do is actually quite a bit. When I was informed that the WD-19 was a modular design, it got me very curious and I couldn't wait to get one in my hands and now that I do. And I'll just show you how this modular design works. So all you need to do is flip it around, pretty much take out these two screws at the end of it and just flip it back around and all you need to do is unplug this. Just give it a bit of wiggle. Now, you've got to be very careful because if you can't really jag it out this way, and I'll show you why in a moment and a little bit close up here. So if you just jag it up to only a little bit when it opens up, a good idea is just to lift it upwards here and then you'll actually have it open up. Now, you'll see now that it's like a PCI Express or PCI Express and pretty much you can actually change this section of it to the DC version or the non or just a display USB-C display port version. So it's really nice that you can have keep this keep this base station and then just change the different connectors to it. I really like the design there. That's an awesome design there, Dell. I like it. That's fantastic. Good on you for that design. 
and I like to just quickly show you why you shouldn't just jack it straight out is because this part here and this part pretty much connects to each other and as you can see it's a little bit bendy here at the moment because from the very first time when I actually took it out uh, I did that sort of moment so really make sure you just get out else you pretty much hit that and that'll probably more than likely break off so it kind of I think Dell needs to relook at that point there it'll be a good idea if they actually relook it into um, fixing that edge there or having some sort of idea to stop that from breaking this section here so it's already as you can see it's a little bit loose it hasn't broken off yet but it's a bit loose there and I wouldn't I would probably wouldn't be doing that too often in a way which is not something you would be doing often in a way but I think it's a good idea that Dell should actually do that for a lot of um, big businesses who can do a lot of changes and just purchase on this spare part here I think it'll be nice if Dell actually look into improving that sort of little problem there that they got there. To give you an idea of the size of the WD-19, I will actually get, this is a WD-15, so you kind of, kind of see how large this is compared to it. So it's pretty much the same sort of size as WD-15 in lengthwise. It's just added this extra component here, which is that modular part. Uh, I'll just put it to its side so you can kind of see how, what it looks like on the, on the side there and I'll just put it on the flat side by side that kind of gives you a kind of idea of how large this so on top of each other the WD-19 is a little bit more thinner but of course when it comes to thickness wise the WD-19 is more thicker there on top here we have the Dell TB-16 and the WD-19 TB so that's the replacement model so as you can see it's about half the size of a TB16. So let's go to the side. Uh, here we are see kind of what it looks like and we'll run to the back as well. So I'll just push that to the thing and we'll run to the back and see how that goes, compares on the back. And you can also see, get a compare also the different ports you'll see. Footprint of the TB16 is at the back and the WD19 TB is at the front. So you can see on top view what it looks like. Another thing I need to mention is the HMI port and the USB-C display port share the same hardware. So if you connect the monitor up to the HDMI port, the USB-C will become data only. And if you connect a USB-C monitor to the USB-C display port here, it will disable the HDMI port. The WD19 TB is supposedly able to drive two 4K monitors and one 5K monitor in a free monitor setup. Unfortunately, I don't have a 5K monitor and I don't have two 4K monitors. I've only got one 4K monitor to try that setup. So in the future, if I do get a 5K monitor, I'll hopefully be able to try that out and give you that video so that you can actually see that. My thoughts are the 5K monitor has to be connected to the USB-C display port and the two 4K monitors has to be connected by the dis two display port there. So let's see what happens with a 2018 MacBook Pro with a touch bar. See how it performs with the WD19 TB. Now I haven't installed any drivers for this. I've actually uninstalled the display link drivers I had previously on this MacBook. So let's see how it goes without any drivers. I'll explain what the setup we've got here. I've got two 27 inch monitors and a 24 inch monitor. Two of them are connected by display port and one's connected by HDMI port. So I've also got uh, keyboard and mouse connect by USB and of course the Ethernet to check if we've got network So that's all connected there. So I've got the MacBook Pro here and this is the Thunderbolt here So I'm going to connect to the Thunderbolt. Let's see what happens with that ah. All right Now this is without drivers I can see one two Two monitors three monitors three monitors already but it looks like arrangement let's go to arrangement and we've got keyboard and mouse that's right arrangement it looks like it's only able to see one monitors with three monitor detection that's a good sign that we might be able to get this to extend to three external screens but at the moment it's only seeing one external screen as on virtually but let's see if we can install the display link drivers and see if that will actually improve but let's see what else we've got here now besides that let's see if the actual power button will work on this. Nope, doesn't look like the power button will work. I can see we've got mouse, keyboard is great. Alright, let's see if we've got network here. Network, 
it sees network. We've got IP address, fantastic there. We've got network, that looks good. So let's do install the display link drivers here, okay? We're just installing the display link drivers. I've downloaded from the display link website for the Mac. Now after dis installing the display link drivers, it will reboot the computer. So you need to make sure you save all your work before you do that. Now I've just installed the display link drivers and it's just finished rebooting. So let's go and check if we can actually have it extend to free external monitors on this WD19TB. All right, display and arrangement. Unfortunately, we're still only able to extend to one screen, external screen. So that's a bit of a pity. Uh, and I do have the display link drives installed, so let's go check that. Display, you can see the uninstaller, so it has been installed correctly. Um, let's try and unplug the one of the display ports, hey? Eh? So I'm gonna unplug the 24 inch, see what comes up, what do we get? Okay, I've got one and two, that's the correct one. So let's try see the arrangement. It still only sees one external screen. All right, let's just go to the display port on the left here. Let's try the two display ports. So we should only get one external screen, that's good. All right, let's plug in the second display port here. Plug in the second display port there. So we've got running two display ports. Do we actually get detection of? Okay, we've got two monitors, that's a good sign, but we're still arrangement is still only two, so we can't really split it anymore. That's kind of a bit of a pity. Let me try HDMI and display port then. Okay. HDMI and display port. Now, unfortunately, we've still got only two screens, arrangement, and we still only see one screen, even though we are displaying to two. So, a bit of a pity uh, that that's happened. So let's try if we can just close the Mac down. So it's actually running only external screens. So we only have, it's basically just mirroring. Uh, it won't extend itself. So let's try and put three monitors back in. Okay, three monitors back in. So, so I should see three monitors. Okay, let's try and kick try and kick start this third monitor guy. Alright, here we go, come on. I can see the light. Power saving mode, no. So it's an incapable of driving three screens with the TB19. Unfortunately, it looks like the MacBook Pro and the WD19 TB does not drive free external screens correctly. So it's a bit of a pity, but it is a very new product. So hopefully maybe we'll get some drivers out from DisplayLink to make it extend right. Fingers crossed that they give us new drivers for all this. Now I've connected up the WD19 TB with a non-Thunderbolt notebook. This is an older notebook. It's a latitude 7480 with no Thunderbolt. Now it detects the monitor, but it won't be able to extend it. Now I've also tried to install the, dis the drivers for this dock onto the computer and it has not improved at all. So it can't even do one extended monitor for it. So the Thunderbolt version of the dock will only use the USB and Ethernet. So it won't actually do the display. So you need to get the non Thunderbolt version of the WD19. If you've got any questions about this doc, or even give me feedback about this video, put a comment below and I'll try to get to you as I get the hardware to try and test the different situations for this. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you in the next video.